an inflection point in neuroscience. Neuroscience seeks to understand how neurobiology produces cognitive processes and mental experiences. In 2017, Eric Jonas and Conrad Cording demonstrated that traditional neuroscience methods that rely on testing correlations between behavior and brain activity cannot even reverse engineer a microprocessor and cannot hope to achieve true understanding or to recreate a working brain. As Richard Feynman said, What I cannot create, I do not understand. Neuroscience is finally moving from correlational studies to causative explorations by leveraging high-fidelity data sets from institutions like Genalia or the Allen Institute. Data collection has indeed advanced exponentially over the past decade. We can now identify and categorize numerous neural cell types and their components such as synaptic receptors and ion channels. High-resolution imaging techniques like calcium and voltage imaging allow us to analyze functional interactions within neural circuits. These techniques show how neural codes are formed and transformed within the brain. High-throughput electron microscopy and high-resolution optical expansion microscopy provide comprehensive anatomical and morphological data that is reconstructed into 3D connectomes using AI-driven interpretation and human proofreading. We are entering a new paradigm in neuroscience, shifting from the discovery of neural correlates to causal understanding made possible by detailed emulations of neuronal circuitry. By fully mapping and functionalizing neuronal circuitry, it becomes possible to predict precisely how sensations lead to behaviors and how intrinsic drives and thoughts produce decisions. The ultimate outcome, known as brain emulation, involves reverse engineering a brain to reproduce its operation and thereby its unique mental characteristics such as memories and conscious awareness. Despite these very large high fidelity data sets, there are no working reconstructions of even the smallest brains, such as the nematode C. elegans or the fruit fly. Why? The translation problem. A validated emulation demonstrating preserved memory would attract significant interest and investment, but the field of brain emulation is small because there hasn't been a proof of concept. To achieve a proof of concept, brain data must be translated to a working dynamic model that is validated to be correct. Translating static structural data into dynamic working models that replicate mental functions is now the major hurdle. This is known as the translation problem. There have been attempts to address this, such as functional reconstructions of single neurons, and even attempts to functionalize the whole connectome of a fruit fly by using the same integrate and fire model for each neuron. But systematic development of translation algorithms is missing. In AI, well-understood data sets are used to improve algorithms in a rigorous modeling, verification, and validation loop. Understanding and emulating the brain requires similar bootstrapping data and a rigorous, measurable process of performance improvement. But in neuroscience, well-understood data sets from fully known ground truth systems that could be used to verify and validate are completely absent. Plainly, no one presently knows what a correct circuit model of any brain is. The Brain Emulation Challenge In AI, algorithms are tested, compared, and improved on synthetic data before attempting to operate in the real world. Neuroscience needs equivalent laboratory conditions where additional variables can be introduced one at a time. Biological ground truth, such as C. elegans, fruit fly, zebrafish, or mouse, is not fully understood and therefore cannot be used to verify and validate an emulation. The Brain Emulation Challenge addresses this by providing fully known ground truth data sets for training, verification, and validation. Our challenge creates a rapid feedback loop that is quantitative, rigorous, and aimed at known correct outcomes, just like ImageNet or Kaggle competitions in AI. This systematic method will bootstrap neuroscience to solve the translation problem and lead to rapid exponential improvements. We generate synthetic electron microscope, expansion microscope, calcium or voltage imaging, and electrode recording data that mimics real biological data, but is based on a fully known functional neuronal circuit. Participants receive the data stack and apply their reconstruction and translation methods. They attempt to discover the underlying working system. Our team validates the submitted challenge results against the ground truth model. A performance score places their algorithm on a competition leaderboard and we return a detailed error report to drive rapid improvement and further development. Our platform, which has received a year of development at this point, offers challenges in many test flavors and at many basic to sophisticated levels. Regular prize competitions catalyze investment and effort. 
As the Ansari X Prize, Kaggle, and other competitions have proven, more researchers inside and outside of academia are drawn in, leading to dramatic improvements. In fact, the cumulative investment by competing teams has been shown to vastly exceed the value of a prize. A $10 million investment in prizes spread over a few years can easily lead to $100 to $150 million in research and development, driving the field from infancy to a competitive area at leading universities and beyond.